Hello all you beautiful people out there, what is going on? This is your friend Birdie coming at you fast with another Beast Builds video and today we are going to be looking at Faye, the Fabulous, oh my god, <laughs> the new support in Agora, who is pretty fucking sexy, I'm not going to lie, not just character design, I mean look at those eyes, but just, just really awesome moveset, I'm having so much fun playing her, a lot of people are asking me like, how's Faye, how's Faye, how are you enjoying Faye, and she's just... She's Bay. Faye is Bay. okay? That's just it. That's it right there, okay? She's just great. Uh, but before we get into the build, I do want to remind everybody that I was interviewed by Epic Games, which is still fucking unbelievable. I'm going to put a link down in the blog in the description if you guys haven't checked that out. I was interviewed. I answer a lot of questions that you guys might know. And I want to remind everybody about the giveaway that's going on. If you don't know about that, check my video where I talk about it specifically. I uploaded a video a day or two ago. You'll see my face as the thumbnail. That's the video I'm talking about. But anyway, let's get into the decks for the Fabulous. Oh my god. <laughs> so, anyway. The Fae is a support caster. Now, a lot of people can be like, oh my god, no, she's not a support. She's a harass support. So basically, she uses her abilities to push enemies out of comfortable positions. So they always have to be, you know, on guard and on focus. And she sets up really good wombo combos with her ultimate which you guys will see in the guide and in more gameplay because i have a lot of awesome gameplay with Faye, just beautiful wombo combos being set up and stuff but let's talk about her build right now so the arch magus for the prime card usually on every caster okay you want this uh we're not gonna build her tanky like we do iggy we're not gonna build her tankyish like we do muriel Okay, we're actually going to build her damagey because otherwise she wouldn't really harass people if she wasn't damagey enough, okay? Like, she would throw out her abilities, but people wouldn't really move out of the way. You know, they would just take it and tank it because, you know, it might not do enough damage if you don't build enough damage into it. So, that's why you need to have the Archmagus Prime card. That definitely helps a lot, especially in destroying towers. And usually, I start off with a health pot, a mana pot, and a cast token. That's usually how I go with casters. There's a reason why I have the second cast token, and I'll go into that. And as always, guys, the build will be in the description below. So don't forget to check that out as well. Okay, so here we go. So we're going to build her with damage, a little bit of mana, some health, a little bit of cooldown, and some armor. So we're going to build her all over the place, so keep track. And this works out really, really well, I've figured. So let's, uh, let's do this. So... You first off want to start off with Sage's Ward, okay? We're going to use Sage's Ward, and we're going to put in three minor casts in here, okay? One, two, three. We're going to put in three minor casts. I'm not going to link this. I'm just showing you guys. I hate linking my cards. You guys know this. So I'm going to do Sage's Ward with uh, three minor Actually, let's get rid of that. One lesser health and two minor casts because we do want to build her a little tanky-ish. Like, we do want her to have a certain amount of health so that she can, you know, have some sustainability late game. We end up with 3,000 health on her with this build, which is pretty decent. And we also have armor, which is also pretty decent. So, yeah. So, you want to start off with Sage's Ward because obviously wards win games. And you want to have those one point cards just to get that full upgrade bonus quick so you can do some nice damage in the beginning. Then we're going to go with Amp Crystal. Okay, this is for our mana. Okay, the full upgrade bonus gives us more mana. And we're going to slot this with three casts. Okay, three regular casts. Um, this is, again, later on in the game. This is going to give us our damage that we need to, you know, be able to uh, be able to last hit consistently, be able to pester people mid-game, you know, very easily. Uh, and also, it's going to give us mana on the full upgrade bonus. And that's going to be enough mana for us with this build, to be honest, if you know how to use your abilities and you don't spam them too much. You only use your abilities for fighting. You don't really use your abilities or last hitting uh, unless you're, you know, you're pushing a tower, obviously, and you need quick kills. But... Anyway, plus her E, you know, her little her little ability that refunds mana on a successful hit. You usually want to use that as just, you know, the 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 pestering, the harassment for your enemies um, in the early game because, you know, you don't waste any mana if you do land your shot. Usually you want to line it up so you don't waste it. So, yeah, that way you don't use any mana on abilities whatsoever and your sustainability in land is really good. So, now the next item that I usually go with depends on how far ahead I am, but let's just stick with Elder Mage Amulet. So, we're going to go with Elder Mage Amulet, okay, and we're going to go with three healths up in this bad boy, okay? Three healths. This is going to give us our health. This is going to get our health up to, I think, 3,000 at this point, if I do remember correctly. Uh, I don't think any other cards that I put in this deck give me health, so... 
yeah, this is this is where you want your health to come from, from Elder Mage Amulet. Plus, you get a little bit more energy damage. So, why not? Increase health to last longer in battle, and Marlin increases energy damage dealt. So, great, 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 great. Okay, the next card after that, uh, we are going to go with either Snake Vine Mesh or Venom Shell. This gives us damage and armor, which is why I love Growth so much, because Growth is the only affinity at the moment in time that has cards like this that give you armor and damage at the same time for both physical and energy. Because for physical, you have Spike Bone Plate and Thorn Green Weave. Here you have Snake Vine Mesh and Venom Shell. So, let's just say you start with Snake Vine Mesh. Okay, this is the energy resistance one, gives you energy armor. Uh, you're going to slot this with one greater barrier and two major casts, okay? We're going a bit more damagey than tanky. Now, if you feel like you want to go more tanky, then slot with a greater barrier. Okay, so you're a bit more tanky. Um, her damages do a lot of damage. I mean, her attacks do a lot of damage. My bad. Her attacks do a lot of damage. That's why I like going with major casts, okay? She can do a lot of good burst damage in a team fight. Uh, as well as you know being able to harass pretty well and I've noticed that having one greater barrier and greater guard in the other card in Venom Shell is usually enough resistance if you just position yourself smartly like you still position yourself like a ranged hero you don't like dive yourself into the middle of combat you do need to build her a little bit tanky though because she doesn't have any escape abilities so uh, you know you need to be able to survive some shots and get out of a fight you know just in case and I always found that you know one greater resistance is good enough i mean if you want to experiment it and just do two greater barriers instead of one greater barrier you can do that but it's my my mind been pretty consistent you know my results have been pretty consistent when my teammates were good you know working with my ult and my support abilities and it's just you know it's actually a beautiful thing when a fey gets to use her ult and steel combos his ult and then murdoch combos his ult and it's just unbelievable so yeah, so we're going to do the same thing for Venom Shell. We're going to go with one greater guard and two major casts. That's how we're going to build our Venom Shell now. That should be our fifth card now. Um, or it could be your fourth, again, depending on what order you want to build it in. So there you have it. Again, you can try two greater guards if you'd like, but I'm just going to keep it like this. And then our last card is actually going to be Pendulum of Lords. And we're building cooldown last and... The reason for this is because I found that in most team fights, um, you only really need to land each one of your abilities once. Um, the flower is nice to combo with your ultimate because you throw down your flower, you let it sizzle a little bit, you throw down your ultimate, it pulls it back into the flower, you throw down your bramble patch right on top of the ultimate, and the flower explodes, and it just does a ridiculous amount of burst damage, not to mention, you know, your skill shot that you have. It does a ridiculous amount of damage. Uh, plus, of course, you're usually going to use that when you have teammates around who can deal even more damage. And you don't really need cooldown that much in the middle of a fight. You usually want it later on in the game so that you get more cooldown, um, you know, between respawns and between backs. Like you use an ult. Okay, now you need to have it cool down in time for the next team fight type of deal. And for pushing lanes late game, you want to make sure that your, your abilities like Bramble Patch and Untamed Growth are cool are cooling down quick so you can use it as quick as possible to push lanes so we don't really need a max out cdr uh we're just going to go with advan three advanced chronos which gives 7.5 each you should end up with 27.5 cooldown at the end of this uh 27.5 percent which is definitely a good amount plus pendulum of the lords gives you more health so i mean it either gets you up to 3000 or 3100 i don't remember at this point and it even gives you more mana too so that's about it so that's your sixth card right there pendulum of lords with three advanced chronos and it just works real real nice okay you have over a hundred armor on both sides you have about 180 ish almost 200 damage for which for a caster is a lot uh you have 3000 3100 around there health um you have a good amount of mana you have about almost 900 mana the entirety of the game about uh, and yeah, I mean, that's about it. Like you, it, it's a great balanced build. She's super fun to play. She does a lot of damage. Plus she can stay alive pretty well. It's just really nice. It's just really nice. Um, and the reason I have two cast tokens is sometimes, you know, when you're like getting rid of items, especially for amp crystal, usually for amp crystal, when you're building three cards that are two points each and you only have like three card points, it leaves you with that awkward one point that's just chilling there. So what I tend to do is I tend to ditch my first cast token and just put in another cast in here. And then later on, when I get three points again and I finish slotting this, I'm left with another awkward one point 
that I want to utilize for the time being, so I just put in a second cast token that time. It's just a little, little difference. It's, it's a 6.5 energy damage difference when I do that, but it's still, you know, every little thing counts. Uh, that's just a bit more advanced, um, you know, slotting, but... Anyway, that's that's very much the gist of it. Start with Mana Pot, Health Pot, Cast Token. I have Harvester Key and I have Sage's Key in here just in case, just for temporary purposes, in case people aren't planning Harvesters like they're supposed to. Uh, but yeah, anyways, there you guys have it. If you missed anything, just rewatch the video. Again, the build is in the description. If you got to this point in the video, please type in the comment section below. The Fey is Bay, and I'll let you guys and and it'll let me know. To let me know that you guys got this far. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. Check out that blog one more time and check out the giveaway as well. And as always, make sure you all have a wonderful day. I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use. Cause you can't stop it from shining through. It's true.